Hey export photographers, it's Mary and Warren coming to you today from our studio to talk about six steps to building your confidence in photography. Now, through all the groups that I follow and, and try to help out, I hear a lot of people struggle with confidence in photography. And I think it's a big hurdle to get over. Um, it was for me when I started out and along the journey there's other things that kind of shake your confidence and you have to build it up. So we thought there'd be a few steps we could actually give to you to see if it would help build your confidence behind the camera. Yeah, absolutely. And, and the first step really is to believe in yourself. Um, you really just need to, to believe that you can do it. So every photographer starts somewhere. Every photographer picks up the camera for the first time and you're going to have some, some bad, some really bad photographs before you're going to have some wild pictures, but it's the willingness to learn from your mistakes, to keep moving forward, continue to believe in yourself because you can do it. If we can do it, you can do it. Yeah, absolutely. I think everybody's got it in them if they have the, the will and the drive to learn it and practice it and, and put themselves on the line a little bit too and, and push themselves and you build confidence that way. Yeah, absolutely. Just don't give up on yourself. Keep moving forward. So another point we have, number two, is knowing your camera and knowing your craft. Um, when you first learning your, your camera for learning the funda foundations of photography, you struggle and it, and it shakes your confidence. Um, not knowing what settings, what things to use. I see a lot of people asking, you know, they see a great image and the first thing they ask is what, well, second, first is what is your camera, which has no, not a big bearing on the image, but second is what are your settings? I think people struggle with not knowing the foundations and then getting into something, if you're thinking of commercial or a specialized area, is knowing the craft, knowing how to actually pose or, or compose a landscape or, you know, that kind of confidence it builds over time. Yeah, I agree. Like one of the first things that you hear when you take a photography class is read your manual and it, and it sounds, it sounds foolish and you're probably sick of hearing it, but honestly, that's how you're going to get to know your camera, your menu settings, what your buttons do. Um, and the more you practice it, the more you're going to have muscle memory and you're going to be able to adjust your camera on the fly. And the quicker you're able to do that, then that's when your confidence is going to build. We see a lot of photographers providing like recipe cards or here's your setting for this picture. Here's your setting for this picture, which honestly, it might give you a good starting point, but, but they're not seeing what you're seeing in front of them. They don't know what your lighting situation is. So instead of learning settings, really, really get back to learning. I think the camera yeah. is most important. Yeah, you're exactly right. The, you know, people say in certain settings, they don't know your lighting condition and the lighting conditions is everything to photography. And if you can't adjust on the fly and, and knowledgeably know what those settings are, then, then you kind of struggle. And then your confidence is shaken a little bit when especially when people are watching you so yeah. another like knowing your craft if you're going to do portraiture or you know do photographs of people it gets a hundred times worse when you're struggling with your settings and a hundred eyes are on you trying to wait for you to take the picture um, looking at the back trying to figure out what you're doing wrong you're getting frustrated and your confidence just goes right down the drain i mean <laughs> yeah uh, i agree absolutely um i'd say the third step is really uh study other um, photographs, famous photographs, phot photographers that inspire you, that you look up to, photographs, even artwork that makes you say, wow, that's remarkable. And look at it and, and try to understand what is making that photo talk to you. Is it the lighting? What's going on with the lighting? Is it the composition? And the more you understand what makes a wow photograph, then you can bring that into your artwork and really up your game. And again, there goes your confidence boosting some more. Yeah, absolutely. I started off just looking, you know, I started before the days of the internet and, and, and digital cameras, but, and I would study books and magazines and look at how things were posed and how people were posed. And I still have the habit of looking at catch lights and eyes. So I look at a magazine, look at a model. And the first thing I'm drawn to is their eyes to see what kind of modifiers they're using in the studio and how they produce that light. So. It kind of sticks with you, but learning that composition, learning those tricks of the trade, and then you can apply it to your craft and it'll apply it to your images, so. Yeah, and, and to be clear, I don't mean to go out and copy others' right. work, other people's work, but really to take what you see in that image, use it as inspiration to go out and create your own unique image. Yeah, very true. Well, the fourth point that I want to call out is being vulnerable. And it's a hard thing to do to get outside of your bubble and be vulnerable, but put your images out there for people to critique. And I would say put them out to people that you trust and that you know they're gonna give you a real critique, not a, 
not a, just a troll kind of slam you or or opposite everybody is telling you they're great images you know grandma and grandpa think your images are fantastic and you should be selling them but get in front of a photographer a group of photographers submit them for critique for you know people that know what they're doing or have, have been around in the craft for a while yeah it's uh, it's it's really important to make yourself vulnerable we know our 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 images are our creations and they almost feel like our children and we don't want to hear somebody talk bad about them and it's so easy to get on the defensive but if you just open up your mind a little bit to hear how they can get better um, it, it, you'll, you'll be amazed by the steps that you take um, and one thing I say is I, I actually paid somebody that really inspired me to critique my images and I thought I was gonna be told, oh, you're doing a great job, I love your work, and that was gonna make me feel so good. Um, and instead, it went quite the opposite way <laughs> and she tore apart my work. And I'm gonna tell you, it, it did hurt, but what I took from her feedback and applied to my future images only helped to make me a better photographer. So you just do, you need vulnerability, it's a hard thing, but it, it's gonna help. Yeah. And it makes you grow as a photographer. That's the biggest thing is I know it hurts for the moment, kind of like a shot, but it's going to better you off in the future as you're going through the journey of learning your craft. Yeah. Um, and with that being said, you know, looking for people to critique your pictures, another, um, maybe the next fifth step would be to find a mentor, find somebody that um, is willing to kind of take you under their wing, show you the ropes. I, it helped a lot um, to, for me, uh, when, with wedding photography, portrait photography, a lot of people get a camera, they say, oh, I'm gonna start a business, I'm gonna go out and shoot. Um, but it's, it's not just about your equipment, but it's also how you relate to people or even understanding how the wedding day goes or um, I mean, how they edit their pictures or what the process looks like. So there's more to photography than just the camera aspect of it, but having a mentor to help you understand the camera, having you uh, understand the whole, the process of photography, um, whether it be what, you know, how the day unfolds or how, how that they take their picture from their camera to, you know, on the wall. Those are all things a mentor can help you with. Yeah, and that mentor becomes a trusted friend. Um, your friend could be your mentor, right friend? Yes, <laughs> you're definitely my mentor we when look, I got into it. We lean on each other all the time to, about our images and what we're doing, so. Yeah, finding that mentor is key. When I started photog wedding photography, I had 15 years of playing with the camera and being a photographer, but I went and, and studied under another photographer for two years for free just to learn, like Mary said, the pace of the wedding, how you interact with people. Uh, there's so much when you start to do commercial work and you have to deliver for other people um, that you better be prepared. And that two years really built my confidence. You know, I was, I was confident enough to go out on my own at that time with the support of my mentor and, and and it just built confidence being in there. And and honestly, when I started, I was still a nervous wreck. Even though I'd been spent two years in front of, you know, in front of brides and grooms, I was sweating bullets because back then it was a film days and I you had to nail it, you had to get it right and you, you were on the spot and you had 100, 200 eyeballs looking at you in uh, yeah. the guest. So you had to not only be professional, you had to be able to deliver the pictures and you had to be, you know, ready to go. So it was, quite a challenge so yeah and and I would add to that and it doesn't have to be going into the professional realm that you need a mentor but even if you're just looking to improve your photography um, one way to find a mentor is to surround yourself with people who really enjoy the hobby look for some local uh, photo clubs photo yes. communities online photo clubs photo communities we know there are many of them out there and maybe find somebody that you click with and you can have them critique your images here I took some images can you help me get better? I really like what I see, what you post. You know, can you help me understand how I can apply what you, you know, to my images? So surrounding yourself with just like-minded people is gonna be helpful in, in boosting your confidence as well. Yep, and as you were talking about getting out and being with people, our last number six point is practice. Practice, practice, practice. Don't put the camera away. I mean, if you have the drive and passion to learn photography, you're gonna have to keep that camera in your hand. Look for objects, look for subjects you know get out there and take pictures digital is free now you know after you buy the gear it doesn't cost to take pictures so get out there as they say fail fast and then succeed so you'll be able to see your your it, what you did wrong you know how you can improve you get quick feedback and practice we we took a lot of practicing to get be able to be confident and comfortable behind the camera 
Same with the videos. We're not 100% confident, but we're still at, we're gonna go at it and see if we can become more confident in our videos and deliver information to you. Yeah, what he said about that, like immediate feedback, that's huge. Cause you can change your settings and really see how those settings are affecting your picture. And as you can see that, then you'll know how to create the image that you're visualizing in your head. Um, and I know when I was starting out, I literally had my camera by the front door. Every time I left the house, I brought it with me in my car because you just never know where you're, when you're going to come upon a scene that, oh, I wish I had my camera with me. Um, if I was sitting around watching TV, uh, drinking a beer, I would sit there and maybe photograph the beer or a glass of wine in front of me as I'm watching TV. So I'm, I'm learning, you know, I'm not just sitting there and, you know, I changed the way the light was hitting the drink or you've got pets, you've got kids, you know, you've got family members who probably would be willing participants. So reach out to the people around you and ask if you can practice on them. Yeah, that's the same, you know, theme. Having that camera in your hand, hand builds muscle memory. You're not gonna go out and at the time of when you wanna create an image, struggle to find your aperture, struggle to find your shutter speed, or what mode should I be in and what button does that. That muscle memory is critical when you wanna have some efficiency and that leads to confidence. So yeah, always just just use it. Take pictures of silly things and, and, and get used to holding that camera. Try to make them sharper. Try to be more steady. You know, find your focal point and what you should be doing. There's, there's so much to do. The subject doesn't even matter, really, until you really find something to take a picture of. But clicking the shutter doesn't cost now. So, and there's expert data that will tell you what your settings were. If you ever are confused, software will tell you it's attached to the file. So you can look back at what your aperture was, what your shutter speed was, what ISO you were doing. Some will even tell you the focal point where you focus. So, yeah. Um, Get out there and get practicing. This this is a fun craft, and if you let it let it evolve and take your journey, take yourself down that journey, you I, we've had a lifetime of enjoyment out of it, friendships, commercial. You know we've we've done it for other you know shared it with other people, our images that that was all a part of the journey of learning our craft and building that confidence. Yeah, and so if you would like to join our uh, online community, it's Explorotography, uh, a community for photographers on Facebook. There's a lot of opportunity. We have weekly themes. You can share your images. You can ask for critique. You can ask other photographers who post their images, you know, how they took their image and, and maybe learn from them. So we would love to see you uh, join us on Facebook. Just request to join our group. We'd be happy to add you. Yeah, and if you found this information valuable, um, appreciate you to share it. Share this video with your friends and colleagues that might be struggling as you are with confidence in, in photography. We'd love to get our information out there. Again, we have over probably 60 years of photography experience between the two of us, and, and we just want to share. We want to give it back and, and try to support people that are starting their journey in this great craft. Yeah, and if you want to comment below what's helped you overcome some obstacles or how you built your confidence in photography to help others learn, that would be great. Um, and on the other hand, if, if you're struggling with something that's really keeping your confidence low as it pertains to photography, put it in the comments. Maybe somebody will reach out and help you. If, if we can, we will. If somebody else knows an answer or has an experience similar to yours, uh, they may be able to share with you too. So. Great. Well, we hope you found this valuable. Uh, we'll keep trying to do more videos that help you build your journey in photography. And until next time, explore, create, and do good. See ya. Bye.